A lot of talk on the forums about the new Texatron Scorpion. Pretty good looking plane, huh? Yeah. You got bad guys to blast and can't wait or afford for a $50,000 an hour full-size fighter jet to never show up? Well, we got a deal for you. How would you like to sting your enemies in the eye for just $3,000 an hour with the new Scorpion? Uh, I don't know, I'm just the guy who reads the lines. All right, so this plane here is to try and fill that medium-sized role for fighter support and do it for less. The only plane out there really rocking this role has been the A-10 Warthog, right? Hey, hey. What? Aren't you gonna do your... Oh, right, Hercules! <laughs> There you go. The point is, in the new world of chasing down armored Toyota trucks, the need for a medium-sized close air support strike aircraft has dramatically increased. So that makes sense. Doesn't make sense. So let's take a look at here what we got. Length, 44 feet, nose to tail, wingspan, 47, max speed, over 500 miles an hour. That's pretty fast. You can load this thing up with over 6,000 pounds of weapons, and you got a crew of two. So that's one guy to fly and shoot, the other guy to take selfies. So get this. The Texatrons own Cessna, so many of the Scorpion's parts are made from other reliable civilian aircraft. So, you won't be hung out to dry with the reliability of Cessna's reputation. <laughs> Some of these jokes just write themselves, don't they? Cessnas are so reliable, in fact, they were the plane of choice for Reggie the Flying Dog. Did you see that one? No, didn't see it. It's pretty cool. They taught a dog to fly and he... Yeah, it looks fake. Didn't see it. Anyway, it's a great plane. Looks like they should be selling lots of these to countries around the world. I mean, when it comes to numbers, it's got the best numbers. You like numbers. It's got great numbers. The company, Texas Cessna, says they could sell up to 2,000 of these for only $20 million each. Now, that would save the Air Force billions. So how many have they sold so far? Oh, well, you see, there's a lot of interest. Everyone we show them to really like yeah, it. Yeah, we don't. We all think your plane is great. So how many have you actually sold? Oh, uh, we've flown them on air shows. There's a tremendous interest. Lots of interest. People are interested. Yeah, great. How many have you sold? Uh, none. Oh, none. That's weird. The official word is there's a bit of a marketing challenge rather than a technical challenge at this point. Okay, so wait. Did this small group of guys that rushed out to build this thing in secret with their own money, did any of them actually check to see if they had any solid customers in the line? You know, there was another privately funded plane back in the 80s that competed against the F-16. Now, great plane, but it didn't sell. Why? Because sometimes it's not really what you know, it's who you know, you know? No. Have you ever seen the guys who make the big decisions on which military hardware to buy? they strike you as the kinds of people that make decisions based on the best numbers for everybody? Huh, that's weird. Well, it's not all bad. There's some talk about selling the Scorpion to groups down in Africa and South America. You know, take care of some shady business. Diamonds and drugs or something. I do like diamonds and drugs. I'm sure you can find some customers who need to affordably drop 6,000 pounds of bombs on a Toyota. I mean, it's the international military arms business. How hard can it be? The Texas Instruments Scorpion Cessna 182. You're making stuff up now. It looks like a great medium-sized, reliable, cost-effective, affordable strike aircraft. Do you think big government would ever want to buy something like this? Let me know what you think. <laughs> oh gosh, this, is a, this video brought to you by Reggie the Flying Dog. I still poop in the house when I'm scared, but I can fly a plane. Wee. Is that, is that it? Did I get the line?